Hey, welcome back, Vineyard Kids. Merry Christmas. I know it's not Christmas yet, but I'm wearing my Santa hat to remind you that we're talking about Christmas and the Christmas story, right? Okay, let's get right to the rules. Rule number one is be quiet. That's right. Show me your number one finger. Put it near your lips. Grab a bubble. Oh, that was, that was kind of a short bubble. I can't always hold my breath very much. All right, what's rule number two? Stay seated, right? Crisscross applesauce. That's right. Everybody sit your bottoms on the floor. All right. Rule number three is be a good listener. That's right. If you're listening, you're not talking, right? Excellent. All right. Does anybody know what time it is? It's Bible verse time. Na, na, na. Baby Trevor, yay! I don't, I, I'm not sure what he said. Did, did anybody hear what he? I don't, I'm assuming it was a Bible verse, but I, I don't remember. I don't remember. We're just going to assume it's this Bible verse that we're doing now, which is Luke 2, 7. Okay. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, rock a baby, right? And she wrapped him in swaddling cloth, and she laid him in a manger, right? Because there was no place for them in the inn. And that's Luke 2, 7. You guys want to do it one more time? Okay, let's try to go. <clears throat> okay. And she gave birth to a son, right? And she wrapped him in swaddling cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the end. Luke 2, 7. All right, you want to do some voices? All right. Three, two, one. Princess. All right, let's all be princesses. All right, if you want to be a prince, that's fine, but I like that's two different voices for me. So anyway, here we go. <clears throat> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. I almost I almost didn't do it. All right, here we go. And she gave birth to a son, her firstborn son. Keep getting that. And she wrapped him in swaddling cloth, laid him in a manger, because there was no room in the end. <laughs> Luke 2 7. <clears throat> okay. Let's just move on. That was, that's a little awkward. Okay. Three, two, one. All right. Underwater voices. Can you guys do an underwater voice? All right. You don't have to do this, but this is kind of my underwater voice. Blah, 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 blah. Underwater voice. Or we can plug. I don't know. Un here we go. And she gave birth to her first foreign son, Rock the baby, right? And wrapped him in swaddling cloth. Do this. <laughs> Lay him in the manger. Put him in the manger, quick. Because there was no room for them in the end. Room two, seven. That was really hard to do. Let's see what we got next. Ready? Three, two, one. A mermaid voice. Awesome. It's kind of an underwater princess, sort of, maybe? Okay. Let's see if we can get all these things together, the hand motions and everything. And she gave birth to her firstborn son. And wrapped him in swaddling cloths. Do this. And laid him in a manger. <laughs> because there was no room for them in the end. Whoa. <laughs> Look, it was seven. Okay. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Okay? <laughs> oh, man. Are you guys ready to hear part of the Christmas story that I'm going to tell you guys today? 
Hamilton. Ooh, let's see what clue Hamilton left for our story today. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, look, look, look. <clears throat> what is it, guys? It's a donkey. That's right. Look, it's a little donkey. We know some stories in the Bible about donkeys, you know? Do you guys remember the one, one story we talked about when Jesus rode a donkey, right, into Jerusalem, right? And that people had palm leaves. Remember Palm Sunday? Yeah. This is actually a story about when Mary, his mom, rode a donkey into Bethlehem, right? Uh, and guess where Jesus was? In her belly. Yeah, she didn't have the baby yet. She was going to have a baby in Bethlehem, right? Okay. So here's how the story starts. Mary was at home, and she was sweeping, remember? She was cleaning the house, and and an angel appeared, remember? Do you remember the neighbor? The, the neighbor's name, not the neighbor. The, the, the angel's name? Gabriel. That's right. Some of you knew it. Some of you knew it. That's okay. Gabriel, and he told her that she was going to have a baby, and that, that baby's name was going to be Jesus, and he was going to save the world. What? That's amazing. So she was like, uh, okay, I should probably tell Joseph. Like, he's going to marry me, and he should know. We're going to have a baby right off the bat, you know? We're not going to get to have a two-room apartment. We're just going to have to find someplace big to go, okay? So she goes, she tells Joseph, and Joseph's like, oh, man, I can't, I can't marry you. This is craziness. This is insanity. So he goes home, and he thinks about it, and he lays down. And in his dream, he sees Gabriel, the angel. Gabriel says, um, yeah, don't be afraid. Marry, 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 marry. Get married to Mary. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Get married to Mary. And then when you have this baby, his name is going to be Jesus. You're going to call him Jesus. And he's going to be the savior of the whole world. He came to save us. He came to save everybody. And Joseph was like, oh, wow. That's, 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 that's a big job. That's a big job. Okay. I can do this. I'll teach him everything I know so he can grow up be the savior of the world. All right? So they did head out for Bethlehem, right? And they were going, but so were every so was everybody else. Everybody was going to Bethlehem because they had to go to get counted, right? And they got there and they didn't make any reservations in the hotels and the motels and all the travel lodges and the inns were completely full. What? They were completely full, guys. There was no place for them to sleep except for maybe that stable out back, which we'll talk about this week. How about that? We'll talk about this week. All right, so they traveled and they traveled and they got to Bethlehem and that's where we're gonna stop, right? Okay, don't forget on Wednesdays at six o'clock, come join me for my Zoom meeting, all right? You guys ready to pray? All right, hands in the air. Wiggle your fingers together, put them on your head, put them on your knees, not your knees, that's your elbows. That's not your elbows. What is that? That's your shoulders. That's right. Okay, let's wiggle our fingers together. Put your hands together. Blink your eyes closed. Repeat after me. Hi, God. It's us and Vineyard Kids. Thank you for our teachers and our helpers. Thank you for our family and our friends. We love you, God. Amen. Excellent. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.